everyone. Today we're learning about the three types of rock, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic, and how they're formed. Now I want you to look carefully at the examples given of each rock. What are some of the similarities? What are some of the differences? After listening to the descriptions of how each type of rock is formed, can you understand why the examples look the way they do? Igneous rocks are formed both underground and above ground. Underground, they are formed when the melted rock, called magma, becomes trapped in small pockets. As these pockets of magma slowly cool, the magma becomes igneous rock. Igneous rock is also formed when the volcanoes erupt, causing magma to rise above the Earth's surface. When the magma appears on the surface, it's called lava. The rocks are formed as lava cools and hardens. Igneous rocks are called fire rocks for very good reason. For millions of years, pieces of our earth have been eroded, broken down, and worn away by wind and water. These little bits of earth are washed downstream, where they settle at the bottom of rivers, lakes, and oceans. Layer after layer of eroded earth is deposited on top of each other. These layers are then pressed down more and more through time until the bottom layers slowly turn to rock. Sometimes sedimentary and igneous rocks are buried and put under pressure so intense and heat so high that they are completely changed. This new rock is called metamorphic rock, and if you examine metamorphic rock samples closely, you can see how flat many of the grains are from the years of heat and pressure they were under. <laughs> 